The ringgit has posted its fourth straight week of declines, its longest losing streak since February, as the chance of a Fed hike next month looms large. Earlier, we spoke with FXTM Chief Market Analyst Jamil Ahmad and asked him what global headwinds we should be looking out for when it comes to ringgit performance. Brexit uncertainty is continuing to dominate global headlines and what we're seeing right now in the markets in general is the return of a risk-off period and this is pressuring the emerging market currencies. But basically, that such a huge historic vote, it can have huge global implications when it comes to both the economy, not just the UK markets, and alternatively, it can have a wider impact on risk attitude from investors and can make investors very risk adverse in the run-up to the vote. And I do think that the global headlines focusing on such a huge historic vote that's upcoming it has impact to the general risk attitude out there. We've certainly seen that um, the way investors have been taking their money out of emerging assets. Um, are, is this likely to be sustained? We saw EM uh, equities, for example, wipe out um, the advance from uh, the year so far. Yeah, I mean, basically, I do think that when such an upcoming vote is around the corner, if, if investors become risk, more risk adverse, basically, it can encourage them to scatter away from riskier assets, basically. So they become less um, encouraged to, to purchase towards the emerging markets to invest in the emerging market currencies. And additionally, for any currency that's considered a little bit of a riskier asset, such as maybe the Russian ruble, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, but closer to home, you're seeing the Malaysian ringgit coming under pressure. So how much of a risk premium then are Malaysian assets uh, carrying at this juncture? I would say right now it's relatively quite high. If this uh, risk of attitude of the markets continues in the ring up to the vote, and it's quite likely, there could be some more pressure on the markets. But what I would say is driving the currency from this moment forward will more likely be this return to dollar demand following the sudden shift in expectations that the Federal Reserve have not completely closed the door when it comes to the possibility of a U.S. interest rate rise in June. Um, just recently, we had Bank Nagara hold on its overnight policy rate. Um, what kind of uh, uh, assessment do you have then of how Muhammad Ibrahim set the tone for his governorship? I'm not really surprised that the Bank Nagara left interest rates unchanged. And although I understand that following the headlines focusing on Malaysia GDP falling to a six-year low, that there might be some increased encouragement towards improving domestic lending, what you have to bear in mind is that there is a lot of global risk out there and growth above uh, at 4.2% is still above the majority of estimates. And right now, what you really need to look out for is export demand, future trade balances, and if the Malaysian economy is focused on domestic consumption for the second half of the year, you need to look at the imports to see if consumers are still spending. If they are not spending, this was where there's pr probably more validity towards encouragement to reduce rates, but for now, I see them remaining flat. Jamil, immediately on our radar, May 23rd, there's that call with 1MDB with dollar uh, bondholders. What are you anticipating when it comes to the impact that might have on the ringgit um, when it comes to sentiment? I think that this ongoing story over potential political um, volatility when it comes to this ongoing um, situation, it can be having a little bit more of an impact on the Malaysian currency now because it's been ongoing for such a long time. But basically, this story just needs to subside and move into the background. Once it does this, investor confidence can improve domestically and the news headlines will be focused more positively. And what do you think, um, re what resistance do you see for the ringgit in the near term? I think for now it's probably range bound between 4 and maybe 410. I think the bigger risk to the Malaysian currency right now would be led by the external factors such as the return of dollar demand. I think that Federal Reserve expectations have shifted very suddenly over the past week. I mean, we're only last Friday we were near 0% chance of a rate hike in June. Following Wednesday's more upbeat commentary, this has now shifted towards nearly 40%. So investors are going to continue looking out for U.S. economic indicators. Each release is going to come under quite pressure. And if these expectations do rise or the Fed have not completely closed the door for an interest rate rise next month, this would personally surprise me, but it could lead to some further pressure on the local currency. And given how the pound has been performing ahead of that Brexit referendum, um, what does that uh, mean for the ringgit against the pound? The pound volatility is going to show no signs of slowing down, and I think that the risks for the British pound are still towards further weakness and negative sentiment, especially if this uh, shift in expectations 
shifts back towards the opportunity or a chance that there might be an actual UK exit. Um, basically, I do think that the pound momentum stores significantly towards the downside. I do not see that much upside strength if the uh, United Kingdom remains in the European Union. So basically, I would still look out for some potential for pound weakness over the medium term. And this could present some opportunity for the Malaysian currency to at least gain some momentum. And Jamil, which currency pairs are you favoring right now? Since the sudden shift in uh, U.S. interest rate expectations and consequent dollar demand, what we really are seeing is a stronger dollar across the board, and we're seeing a significantly weaker euro dollar. Uh, the euro dollar closed below 112 yesterday. This is going to probably present an opportunity some, for some further weakness as we conclude the weekly trading.